Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am such a tech enthusiastic person. I love new inventions and I love new musical toys, toys, I, I'm <laughs> and all music related stuff. So I was extremely excited when Artie Noise contacted me if they if if they could send me their recorder in exchange for some content. So this video is not sponsored, uh, but they did send me the Artie Noise recorder for free. So as usual, I'm always going to be honest with you. I am going to do an honest review of the recorder for you. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Helene. I'm a classically trained flute player. I've been teaching flute playing for 10 plus years and I'm a recording artist. You can find a lot of my playing from this channel among other things like reviews and content like that. Let's start with the unboxing. I can see the recorder there. I requested a black one. <laughs> this black is cool. Let's open it up. Oh, that's neat. Okay, so it is in a protective another box. There's also a QR code for, for the app download. I did find the app just by <laughs> writing arty noise on the search. There's a quick start manual, it says. <laughs> so the packaging is really good. It's really kind of like sturdy. Okay, there's the uh, recorder. I'm gonna open that in a moment, but I noticed there's something in here. This is a cleaning stick. It's like a foamy thing. I assume that's probably for cleaning. Then there's a cool kind of like, you can, you can hang it like neck thingy. Yeah. What is it called? Hmm. Maybe. <laughs> Hello. There's a USB cable for charging. So my recorder is now fully charged. I attached the uh, loops here and then on the mute so we don't lose the mute. It's such a tiny piece of plastic It's probably so easy to lose. So it's also securely now attached I'm gonna do a small comparison to normal recorder So let's start with the recorder. I'm gonna play something super simple because I am NOT a recorder player So I'm not that great at it, but I just want to give you a like a sound comparison of the bare, bare sound it produces. Here the recorder is a bit more airier in the sound, however it plays quite okay, really. Let's now get into the app. Um, I'm gonna share my phone screen for you here and show how it works. Now let's first press the connect and then it tells us to start the recorder by just holding that. These are touch sensitive, by the way, they are not meant to kind of like go down like normal buttons. Uh, so just holding finger on top of it starts it. And then let's see, and it found it. Then let's just press the next. So I have created an account. When you first log in, it it gives you the option to create the account. I'm gonna put the volume a bit more up. 
there are three different kind of like ways to start playing. Let's see how the learning works. And for this one, we need the mute back because the app will also play the sound. So let's do hot cross buns. <laughs> So let's try one from the just play part. Let's pick up easy one, for example, this one. Let's see how it goes. There is also this duo if you have a friend you are going to play with. So basically you can both connect to the device and play as a duo. That's kind of also a fun um, feature to make it even more interesting. Let's get into the settings of the app then. Um, so there are a lot of different settings and for example the theme you can switch to kind of like this kind of very sleek dark theme or just stay in the kids theme um, then there's different modes you can use as a little lip sensor um, breath is the normal where you just blow in the instrument and then you can use it as a keyboard also apparently midi settings there are several settings under the advanced mode but if you don't know any of those you can just keep it in the <laughs> normal mode. There's different fingering charts you can use. I am using the normal baroque one that I use normally when I play recorder, but there are several ones and you can check the fingering charts for these. Then there's the devices, the connected devices, which means these. And then there's a help part if, if you have something you are not sure about, you can always refer there. There is also a manual from their website, which is also a good place to search more info if you're not sure about something. So highly recommend checking them out. That's how the settings look like for the app. One thing that got my attention also was that you can use it not only with the app or just a separate recorder, you can use it as a MIDI device on PC and Mac. You can connect it with a Bluetooth low energy um, connection. And for that, I went to buy a, a Bluetooth adapter for my PC. My PC doesn't have a Bluetooth inbuilt. My laptop does, but PC doesn't, so I'm just gonna see how connecting that works. There is a really good instruction how to do this on their website. Again, refer there. Especially for Windows, you need to download a couple things for it to work, so definitely worth uh, referring to their website for the info. I got this one connected to my PC now. Um, so I followed the instructions on their website and on the software and let's let's listen to some VST instruments. <laughs>
So overall, I'm really impressed that you can have a wireless device like that, uh, instrument like that, and you can use it in so many ways. It's not feeling flimsy at all, basically. It's very sturdy and it's a bit heavy too, and it seems like really good quality. Overall, extremely, extremely impressed. Because this is an honest review, I am gonna also tell you what I, what the downsides, I guess, I, I don't know, not downside, but rather worries or troubles with it. Um, one being the fact that um, the pinky is kind of aligned with the other fingers. It takes some getting used to. On my recorder, you can see they are not aligned here um, because it's just more ergonomic. However, I was able to just completely um, adjust to it, but it's something that is a bit different from the real recorder. Another thing is a tiny bit of delay. The delay at, in the app when you play with this and with the MIDI device Bluetooth thing, basically. It might be the Bluetooth connection that makes it even harder. You can probably adjust the sensitivity a bit and make it a bit more responsive to your breath. Uh, so I'll try that on the app at least. The third thing is I had some hard time um, changing the octaves. It didn't really work for me. I don't know why. I will still need to do some reading about this, but overall I'm really impressed by this. As usual, I will leave all the links on the description box below. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you find, found it helpful. And I hope to see you on my next one. Bye-bye.